in continuation with the first video we will study krebs cycle this is the krebs cycle which is completed in eight steps so acetyl coenzyme a first step is condensation acetyl coenzyme a it condenses with oxaloacetate in presence of water molecule to form citric acid or citrate so when we say citrate it is in the ionic form otherwise it is citric acid so when it condenses with acetyl coenzyme a condenses with oxaloacetic acid coenzyme a is released so step is condensation the name of enzyme is citrate synthetase because this step involves synthesis of citrate so as i have told you the first product is citric acid or citrate that is why this cycle is known as citric acid cycle this citrate or citric acid has three carboxylic groups that is why this cycle is also known as TCA cycle tri carboxylic acid cycle so now it should be clear to you second step is rearrangement citrate loses water undergoes rearrangement of atoms in presence of aconitase enzyme to form cis aconitate cis aconitate again undergoes rearrangement with the addition of water molecule and the step is catalyzed by same enzyme that is aconitase to form isocitrate so first step is condensation second is rearrangement losing water third is again rearrangement with the addition of water to form isocitrate so these are three steps fourth step is oxidative decarboxylation means isocitrate will lose carbon dioxide it will lose a pair of hydrogens which will be picked up by nad which is reduced to nadh so as it involves dehydrogenation so we call this enzyme as isocitrate dehydrogenase isocitrate by undergoing oxidative decarboxylation forms alpha ketoglutarate now next step is again oxidative decarboxylation but this is comparatively a little bit complicated step because it is completed in two sub steps as it is oxidative decarboxylation naturally alpha ketoglutarate will lose carbon dioxide it will also lose a pair of hydrogen atoms same step is there but here coenzyme a participates as a result of these loss of carbon dioxide and loss of hydrogen atoms alpha ketoglutarate changes into succinyl group and that succinyl group condenses with coenzyme a to form succinyl coenzyme a then this succinyl coenzyme a with the addition name of enzyme will be alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase this succinyl coenzyme a undergoes second step in which with the addition of water molecule coenzyme a is removed so as the bond breaks energy is produced so that energy is utilized in combining one molecule of gdp guanosine diphosphate and inorganic inorganic phosphate to form gtp so gtp over here is formed due to loss of coenzyme a because when the bond breaks energy is produced that energy is used in combining gdp and inorganic phosphate into gtp so basically this is resulting in the formation of succinate so name of enzyme over here is succinate synthetase or succinyl coenzyme a synthetase so now till now we have completed how many steps five steps first is condensation then two rearrangement two oxidative decarboxylation steps so basically these two steps they are same the only difference is that here coenzyme a temporarily participates then it is lost with the addition of water molecule and energy so produced is utilized in the synthesis of gtp so this is the only cycle where gtp is formed so after this sixth step is dehydrogenation removal of hydrogen succinate loses pair of hydrogen atoms which are picked up by fad flavin adenine dinucleotide and which is reduced to fadh2 the name of enzyme is succinate dehydrogenase seventh step is hydration hydration means addition of water fumarate with the addition of water and fumarase enzyme in presence of fumarase enzyme changes into maltate eighth step is dehydrogenation again just like this 
but here the coenzyme is NAD. So pair of hydrogens they are lost. They are picked up by NAD which is reduced to NADH and maltate changes into oxaloacetate. So oxaloacetate again repeats the same cycle. So name of enzyme over here will be maltate dehydrogenase. So as oxaloacetate again condenses with acetyl coenzyme A, just see this is the cyclic pathway. So ultimately acetyl coenzyme A through this cycle breaks to form carbon dioxide and water. As we have two acetyl coenzyme A molecules, so we are here calculating net gain with respect to two acetyl coenzyme A molecules. So we have taken two acetyl coenzyme A, eight water molecules they are used. How, why we are taking eight water molecules? Just see, this is one water molecule, second water molecule, then third water molecule and fourth water molecule. Four multiplied by two, eight water molecules. And two water molecules, they are produced. So eight they are used, two they are produced. Then three NADH, they are reduced. One NADH, second NADH, third NADH. 3 multiplied by 2 because we are taking 2 acetyl coenzyme A. 6 NAD they are reduced to 6 NADH. 1 FAD is reduced to FADH2. So there are 2 acetyl coenzyme A, 2 FAD they are reduced to 2 FADH2. 1 GTP is produced from GDP. From 2 acetyl coenzyme A, 2 GDP will be converted into 2 GTP. And phosphate is taken from phosphoric acid. So two phosphoric acid molecules, they are providing phosphate molecule and with the result of which GDP changes into GTP. So this is the net reaction. So the net gain over here is we are getting 6 NADH and we are getting 2 FADH2 and 2 GTP. So this is the net gain. So you should keep in mind net gain because in the next video we are studying electron transport chain where we will calculate ATP molecule. Now how this cycle is regulated? This cycle is regulated by step 4 that is by the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase. If there is low concentration of ATP within a cell within mitochondria then NAD is used as a coenzyme. If there is high concentration of ATP within mitochondria, then NADP is used. Why this is so? Because you will study in the next video that reduced NADH2 or NADH will produce ATP molecules through electron transport chain, whereas NADP does not produce ATP or it produces very low ATP within the mitochondrial matrix through electron transport chain. So that is why this is the regulation of Krupp cycle. So if you have will have any doubt, we will clear doubts in Google Meet.